Hello friends, welcome back to my channel Biology Reader. Today in this session I will be discussing the definition, characteristics, structure and some major functions of a chloroplast in a plant cell. So friends, let's get started. Let us start the video with a general introduction of chloroplast in plant cells. Chloroplast are the membranous structures having an outer and inner membrane and they are abundantly found in the plant leaves. But do you actually know in which portion of the leaf the chloroplasts are located? The answer is mesophyll cells. This is the transverse section of a leaf and this is the enlarged view of a mesophyll cell. Here you could see that the chloroplast resides within the cell cytosol of a mesophyll cell. We all know that the plants prepare their food via photosynthesis but what's the role of chloroplast here? Friends, chloroplasts play a major role in providing a site for the dark and light reaction of the photosynthesis to occur, which we will discuss later in this video. There is an interesting fact about the chloroplast. Friends, it is believed that the chloroplast evolved via endosymbiosis. Chloroplast shows close resemblance with the cyanobacterial cells and it is also considered as the ancestors of the cyanobacteria. Now we will discuss some of the general characteristics of a chloroplast. Starting with the size range of a chloroplast, the diameter of chloroplast in higher plants ranges between 5 to 10 micrometers and the width ranges between 2 to 4 micrometers. Chloroplast exists in variable shapes but in plant cells it is generally oval shaped. The other photosynthetic organisms like Chlamydomonas possess a cup shaped chloroplast, Eulothrix contains a girdle shaped chloroplast and Spirogyra contains a filamentous or ribbon like chloroplast. There are nearly 1 to 16 chloroplast per cell in lower plants and 20 to 40 chloroplast per cell in the higher plants. Now let us discuss the detailed structure of the chloroplast. The three major components of the chloroplast are membrane, stroma and thylakoid. Starting with the chloroplast membrane, there is a smooth outer membrane and a selectively permeable inner membrane within which an intermembrane space is found. Then coming into stroma, stroma is the colorless alkaline or aqueous fluid that comprising chloroplast DNA lipid or some starch granules as well as it encloses the internal membrane structures like thylakoids and lamellae. Then thylakoid is a sac like structure which are usually arranged one over the other and called grana and these stacks of grana are attached with each other via intergrana or stroma lamellae. Lamellae are the structures that are formed via invagination of the inner chloroplast membrane and it maintains a proper distance between the thylakoids. Friends, thylakoid is a specialized part of the chloroplast where the chlorophyll pigments are embedded. Thylakoid appears disc or sac-like. They are surrounded by a membrane called thylakoid membrane. A pressed thylakoid is the region where the thylakoid membrane is in contact with the other thylakoid membrane whereas non appressed thylakoid is the region where the thylakoid membrane is in contact with the aqueous stroma. Within the thylakoid membrane certain photosynthetic pigments and protein are associated to form units that are called photosystems. A pressed thylakoid comprises photosystem 2 while non a pressed thylakoid comprises photosystem 1. Now let us discuss the primary functions of a chloroplast in plants. It plays a major role in providing a site for photosynthetic reactions to occur as light reaction of photosynthesis occurs in a specialized thylakoid membrane in which a plant utilizes a solar energy to split water into electrons, protons and oxygen atoms. The photosynthetic pigments within the thylakoid membrane excites the electron to the higher energy level to form high energy molecules like ATP and NADPH. Then dark reaction or carbon fixation reaction of photosynthesis 
occurs within the aqueous stroma in which the ATP and NADPH formed during the light reaction of photosynthesis is utilized by the plant cells to convert inorganic carbon or atmospheric carbon into some organic molecules like sugar and a dark reaction does not involve presence of light. Chloroplast also help in energy metabolism as the oxidation of water in the light reaction releases ATP and NADPH energy molecules which is harnessed by the plant cells to carry out cellular functions. Chloroplast serves as a food storage organelles as the starch granules that are dispersed in the aqueous stroma reserves the food material. So friends this is all for today and to study this topic in detail you may visit our official website that is biologyreader.com Link is provided in the description box. So friends, if you find this lesson useful, do like, comment, share, subscribe my channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon and stay tuned for more videos.